Konnichiwa, hello, my name is Mickey and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing two products. I'm going to be reviewing the Tarte Shape Tape Cloud Coverage. I'm also going to be reviewing the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. This is supposed to be the hydrating version of the regular shape tape, I believe. Now, if you're new here and you enjoy my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you know when I upload my videos. And as always, my disclaimer, if you are super sensitive to profanity or if you are easily offended, this is definitely not the place for you. I'm no filter bitch and I have no idea what's gonna come out of this mouth so keep that in mind while you're watching so if you're interested in the Tarte Shape Tape Cloud Foundation as well as the ultra creamy concealer then just stay tuned wow I don't think I've ever looked this shitty well I probably have but it's been a while since I feel like I've looked this crappy I woke up with my hair like this I tried a new like hair wavy product and it's just like this floofy mess but we're not here to talk about the hair now I've already prepped and primed my skin I am dealing with a lot of breakouts right now I think it's just the stress because the weather here keeps going hot cold hot cold hot cold rain sun rain sun rain sun and it's just like getting really old at this point and my skin is just like fuck you so like i said i've already prepped and primed my face i use the smashbox photo finish primerizer the reason why i use this specifically today is because i'm familiar with it so whenever i do foundation tests that's what i normally use now we're going to get into some information about the shape tape cloud also i will be reviewing the tarte ultra creamy shape tape this is supposed to be for like more dry people and I'm one of those dry bitches. Now this retails for $39 hairs which is getting a little up there you know for Tarte $39 it's like hmm. there's 21 shades the shade range is bleh this, this shade range is not my jam. By the way I got this in the shade 12N which is fair neutral that is the lightest shade so it says that it is light as air medium buildable flexible coverage bouncy cloud like texture feels comfy and weightless natural matte finish. Ugh. I don't know why people always put natural and matte together because to me matte does not ever look natural. Matte always looks like you're looking at kind of like a porcelain doll or you're trying to look like a Barbie like even Barbie has a glow you know what I'm saying so I feel like whenever they put natural and matte or satin matte like just call it matte there doesn't need to be any in between just because I found that if there's ever a word matte in it it's usually just matte if that makes sense so this claims that it is a natural matte finish looks and feels like your skin tape technology smooths and blurs imperfections which we got a lot of going on today it delivers a soft focus effect for a creamy oh i'm sorry a dreamy look cloud nine complex drenches skin in 24 hour hydration are we going to be wearing this for 24 hours absolutely not now big claim crease proof formula minimizes looks of pores fine lines wrinkles and uneven textures let's just get into this foundation I have quite a few things that I need to do today now if this is your first time watching my video or a foundation review for me I always do one side with a flat top kabuki brush and then the other side of my face I'm gonna go in with a dry sponge why dry because it gives me that maximum coverage that whatever foundation I'm using is capable of so let's go ahead and do a pump here Ooh, okay that was really fast that is kind of a pretty solid foundation, if I may say, because it's not moving around. It came out in a shape and it's still on that shape. I'm gonna do a little swatch test here. Here is the swatch of 12N Neutral. I did put some on my face and I feel like it's a little, just a smidgen too pale for me. Again, I'm gonna be applying this side, which is my right side, your guys' left side, with the flat top kabuki brush and I'm gonna go ahead and do one full pump here just so we know that is one full pump I had already taken the previous amount on the flat top kabuki and I'm just gonna dab 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 holy Casper <laughs> I don't think we're this shade anymore girl I think we got a little too much Sun right off the bat just applying this I don't know where this is medium coverage because literally everything is peeking through my redness my discoloration as for the feeling the texture on my face while applying it it feels great it feels very soft it's not too thickly um it's not as thick as it feels like on the back of my hand when i like pumped it out that consistency was a little bit more thicker but as soon as you blend it out it's just 
like a very lovely texture, a very light texture, a very cloudy texture, if you will. That is one pump on one side of my face with the flat top cupcake brush. Now, I, oh, okay, there's a little bit more. Let's see if we can build up some coverage here. For this to claim that it's medium coverage and literally not cover anything on that area is just it's disappointing. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more pump and we're going to go on with the sponge side. Now for the sponge side, I know I'm probably going to need more than one pump because the sponge, because it's dry, it does soak up a lot of product. Again, with the sponge, it feels very, very nice. Actually on the sponge, it even seems more like you're applying kind of like a moisturizer on your face. It's definitely different than the brush application and again i know i'm gonna need a lot more because that was a full pump and it didn't even do like my entire face so we're definitely gonna need more than one pump for this foundation i'm just gonna go ahead and pump it directly onto my sponge look how dewy it looks like that just looks so beautiful on the skin like why can't this be the finish this to me right here what you're looking at that shine is a natural finish to me so you can have medium full coverage with a natural finish like this to me is a natural finish it's dewy it's glowy it looks like skin but it's not matte you get what i'm saying matte has like no dimension to me until you start adding like your bronzer and your blush and all that stuff but this definitely has a beautiful glow to it for the coverage with the sponge side where is the medium coverage like i'm not seeing it because with medium coverage this wouldn't be as visible. Now the redness would probably still be there because my redness is like no joke. It's just really strong redness, I guess, but it would cover this a lot more if it was medium coverage. I'm actually going to take <laughs> another freaking pump of foundation, not a full pump. I'm hopefully only gonna need half. So I got that much on the sponge here and I'm gonna try my best to really just cover this icky, volcanic crater on my face because it's it's just it's getting your girl down here today <laughs> so it is buildable it is quite buildable i will say that it's not as red it's not as like noticeable as it was this foundation definitely looks a lot better with the sponge application i feel like with the sponge you can press it into your pores a lot better work this foundation a little better into the areas that you want it now as for my dryness this is looking absolutely beautiful let me just go ahead and scoot closer so you guys can see everything that's going on so here is the sponge side the sponge side to me looks a lot more beautiful than the brush side i'm actually gonna kind of do this real quick because always on the sides of my nose like the foundation never gets into the pores unless I really work it in there. I'm gonna have to start using a pore filler on the sides of my nose. But as you can see, it's not as like cakey and creasy as other foundations are when I first put them on. So that means there's a little bit of hydration in this. As for the coverage, I would say, you know, it's it's like right there on medium coverage. Like I wanna say it's medium coverage, but it's not quite my type of medium coverage, if that makes sense. Over here where my skin's a little bit better, even here on my cheek, you can see my discoloration, my hyperpigmentation. There's one there. There's a little group right here. And all that is peeking through. For me, medium coverage means that it's going to hide my hyperpigmentation and my dark spots, not necessarily my active acne or my redness because those ones are just more tough to cover. You might need a uh, color corrector with that. But for me, I feel like medium coverage should at least, at least, at the minimum, get rid of my hyperpigmentation and my dark spots. For acne, I feel like full coverage is the one that should be used to cover acne and redness. So for medium coverage, if it's not covering my dark spots, to me, it's not an actual medium coverage. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to call in the check-in time. It is exactly now 1 p.m. and that is going to be the check-in time. Am I going to be wearing this for 12 hours? Absolutely not. Am I going to be wearing it for 24 hours? Fuck no. No one should be wearing a foundation for 24 hours. Now let's get into the concealer. I have been dying to try this concealer because I have had this for a hot minute. Let me change the lighting back up real quick and let's get into some information about this guy. Now this shape tape, the uh, Ultra Creamy Concealer comes in 35 shades. And once again, I got the lightest shade, which is going to be 8B. 
porcelain beige. <laughs> so it's the same shade as the found sealer here, but you know what? I bet if I swatch them, they would not be the same shade. And if they were, I would be really, really shocked. This Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer is $30. I believe it's the exact same price as the other Shape Tape. Let me check. Yes, it is $30. This comes in 0.33 fluid ounces. This claims that it is full coverage. Full coverage, so I should not see any of this darkness under there. Natural moisturizing. Here we go again. Matte finish. Why? Why? Matte for me. Okay, like this is boggling my mind right now. My mind is blown. Why do they put matte and moisturizing in the same sentence? To me, matte does not equal moisturizing at all, okay? I feel like matte should be, not should be, but it's more geared towards people with oilier skin and dewy is more geared towards people with dry skin because we're dry. We want that dewiness. When you're an oily hot mess like I used to be, you want something that holds that oil, that keeps that oil at bay. So you want something that's a little bit more matte. I hate, I it's like one of my biggest pet peeves from brands. Natural, moisturizing, matte, finish. It's just, it's all over the place. This is ultra nourishing prickly pear for 24 hour moisturizing for all skin types, especially dry or mature skin. So it's not really for all skin types. It's mostly for dry or mature skin. And the, the wordplay on this, you guys leave skin looking moisturized, never dry or flat. Creamy cushiony formula won't cake or settle. Skin looks smooth, plumper, and more youthful. Cushion tape technology helps smooth and reduce look of fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. Waterproof and 12 hour crease proof. Ideal for normal, dry, and combination skin. That to me, I don't understand. Okay. For all skin types, especially dry or mature skin but it's ideal for normal dry and combination skin. Like, come on, I brands need to get on with the, like this whole thing is just so confusing. I honestly don't even know exactly what this concealer is gonna be. Is it gonna be natural? Is it gonna be matte? Is it gonna be full coverage? Is it gonna last 12 hours or 24 hours? Like. I don't get what's going on with that. Anyways, I digress. Let's just go ahead and apply this. I'm just really not having high hopes for it because I didn't like the other Tarte Shape Tape. So I just, I just, feel, I just really hope that this is going to be great for dry skin. So we're just going to do this. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. Is that full coverage? No, it is not full coverage. What the hell? I'm not really sure I like this on my finger. I feel like it's just easier to, okay, no, maybe on the finger is a lot better. Well, okay, we're going to just try that later. <laughs> I have my Real Technique sponge here, which is my favorite to actually blend out concealer. Okay, so I think that little finger sponge was taking away some of the uh, coverage because this one looks a lot better than over here. Like, look at this. This does not look like full coverage at all. This one is looking like high medium coverage, but I still have that purple green peeking through and you can definitely see some of my dark spots. I do have a uh, hyperpigmentation like dark spots underneath my eyes and that's actually what's peeking through as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more. Okay, that's looking a lot better and my under eyes are much brighter. Right off the bat, the concealer, it's not like bad. It's not great. I will say though, the one thing I noticed right immediately like is compared to the shape tape, the original shape tape. This is not as drying by far, like by any means. This is not as drying as that one. That one, as soon as I blended it out and gave it like 10 seconds to kind of seep into my skin, you could feel the tightness and like you start to crease and it feels heavy and just drying. Like you know that it's becoming a matte finish. With this one, I don't feel like when I'm moving my eyes around, squinting and all that, it doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel matte as matte as the original shape tape. I always will remember the way the original shape tape made my under eyes feel. The first time I actually tried it while I was on Accutane, I was like, oh my God, it is so like hard and dry and crusty. And I could just feel the creasing into like my wrinkles and all that. And it was just like a really crappy feeling under the eyes. This one is very comfortable. It's kind of plush. Like I can move my eyes around, squint and all that very comfortably and it doesn't feel tight or like it's pulling. So we're going to wear this for as long as I possibly can. Again, check-in time is one o'clock. 
and that is going to be for the foundation. It's also 110 right now, but I don't really care to do a check-in like exactly on the time 110 for the concealer. So we're just going to call the check-in time one o'clock for all of this and see how it all wears. I'm going to go do the rest of my face and I will be right back. So the time is now 551. So I've been wearing this for almost almost five hours because it's almost six o'clock might as well just say we've been wearing it for five hours i'm really loving just how dewy it looks like look at my forehead it looks so good so glowy so luminous it's sitting really nicely on my skin for almost five hours of wear like i feel like this is i don't know my skin looks so glowy and healthy i love it now of course because i wear glasses this part like it's gonna happen it happens with every foundation that i've tried the other thing is that it is creasing a little bit here and you can see there's a little bit of texture going on but as far as like accentuating texture i don't feel like this foundation does that at all we're creasing just a little bit like very minimal creasing but I am just obsessed with how glowy my skin looks right now. I did not set this at all with powder. I didn't set any part of my face with any kind of powder. All I did was just add the bronzer and the blush and went about my day. So this looks absolutely beautiful for six hours of wear. Like I'm just, or five hours of wear, I'm sorry. It looks so freaking good. Right here you can see just that little bit of creasing. Now, for the sides of my nose, they don't look as cakey and gross as most foundations would look at this, like, time. So I'm just going to continue about the day and see how this wears, but I'm very, very hopeful about this foundation. I can't imagine what it would look like, like, if I did set it. I feel like it would look a lot better, but this is a review, so we went ahead and didn't set anything, and it looks freaking great. Also, I'm in natural lighting. If you couldn't tell, the sun is blaring down on my face and everything still looks really, really good. All right, you guys. So the time is now 8.09. So I have been wearing this for about seven hours and 10 minutes. I am actually really enjoying this foundation. I was touching my face to see if I got any um, transfer and there was a very minimal if any transfer on my hands now if you were wearing a mask I feel like this would eventually rub off because with a mask if you're talking or moving it's constantly rubbing on the skin so I never ever believe that any foundation is completely transfer proof but for things like touching the face I feel like this has very minimal if any transfer normally around the six hour mark six and a half hour mark I start to feel the foundation breaking down on my skin and with this foundation I am very pleased to say that I have none of that right now I can't even tell that there's foundation on my face it is very very light feeling on the face on the skin it doesn't feel like anything wrong is going on a lot of the times I feel like the creasing I feel the breakage of the foundation I know when it's starting to wear down and it's like about that time where you're just like mm, I might have to touch up a little bit but this one I have not messed with I have not touched and I still have like this beautiful glowy look to my skin so as you see it's not a natural matte finish by any means at least in my opinion and I feel like there is minimal creasing like if any creasing on my face so I'm gonna scoot up closer so you guys can see what's really going on now this little guy has gotten a lot bigger since the day has gone on but other than this thing getting a little you know more swollen I feel like the coverage has stayed the same I think it rubbed off maybe a little bit down here because I was touching my face quite a bit but even on the size of like my nose there's not as much like cakiness as there normally is with any other foundation by this like time frame by the six hour mark and like I said I've been wearing this for seven hours now and it doesn't feel funky on my skin I'm not like oh my god I have to take a shower and get this stuff off I feel very comfortable in this and I love the fact that there is very minimal creasing there is a little bit of creasing there and a little bit of creasing there but for seven hours of wear that crease is nothing to me it's really really nothing because other foundations have creased a lot worse with six seven hours now let me talk a little bit about the blendability of products i used a bronzer and blush as you can see some of the blush and bronzer has significantly come off my face so i think that has to do with me not setting the foundation i feel like if i set this foundation with some setting powder and a setting spray 
I would be good to go for like four or five more hours. That's just how I personally feel about this right off the bat. And for me being a dry skin girl, none of the foundation is clinging to any of my dryness, which I absolutely am here for. A lot of the times whenever there's the word matte in the description, it's almost always going to cling to a dry patch here and there. But with this, it feels hydrating. It doesn't feel dry or tight on the skin, which I absolutely love. As for the concealer, I feel like a little bit of the coverage has kind of slipped away, but for the most part, it feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel cakey or thick or drying, especially like the regular shape tape. The regular shape tape over time, you can see it start to crease in certain areas. It definitely clung to dry patches, especially when my under eyes were super dry. And with this, I'm not seeing any of that. I'm not seeing a lot of creasing in the eye area and it just looks really, really good. I was also wrapped up outside in a blanket because it is pretty chilly. It's like in the forties right now. And I had a space heater in front of my face, just blaring on my face. I didn't feel any weirdness going on. So I'm really pleased to say that I have enjoyed this foundation. Honestly, I can't wait to try it with like setting sprays and setting powders to see just how long it's going to last. But I think with those two elements added to this foundation, it's going to last a lot longer. It's going to look more beautiful. And hopefully the blush and bronzer will not rub off as quickly if I set the face with setting powder and setting spray. So all in all, for a first impressions, I really like this foundation. I really, really do. All right, you guys. So that is it for this this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe as well as that bell notification so you know when I upload my videos. And as always, if you have any tips, tricks, questions, or comments, leave them all down below in the comment section and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!